Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose, and today we're doing something different. We're doing a battle of verses between the Spiderco Tenacious, Spiderco Polestar, and the Bird Raven 2. But why? Alright, so just recently the Polestar came out. And if you watch my other videos, or even if you just watch any video on the Polestar, uh, most other people are commenting that it's more or less a fusion. And I believe even in the packaging, there's literature uh, from Spiderco that says, you know, more or less they're influenced by the Raven 2 and the Tenacious. And if you can't notice the difference or the similarities, basically the blade and the pivot action... Um, for the pole star comes from the tenacious and then the actual handle shape um, and design more or less comes from the raven and so it, it's like these two had a baby and the pole star popped up but that being said um, if that's the case you always hope that they take the best features from both knives to create an even better knife but i'm doing my own little verses just to voice my opinions and ultimately by the end of this video pick which knife i think is the best um for me and what i use it for and based on you know price and whatnot which is the best bang for your buck but regardless of what the outcome is i recommend any of these knives they're excellent quality knives at a very decent price um so you can't go wrong with any of them that being said, what I like about each one. First off, materials-wise, handle-wise, they all have stainless steel uh, liners. They're all liner locks. They all use G10 handle scales. Um, and they're all four-way positionable pocket clips. So tip up, tip down, left, right, carry. And they're fairly close in weight. Um, the heaviest one is the Tenacious. The... Raven is the next lightest, and then the Polestar is the lightest. So we'll start left to right, Tenacious, Polestar, Raven, give some specs, and I'll tell you why I like which one and why. All right, so Tenacious. The Tenacious uh, overall length is 7.76 inches. Blade length is 3.39 inches. Blade thickness is point one two inches thick and the overall weight is 4.10 ounces pole star pole star the overall length is 7.81 inches the blade length is 3.3 inches the blade thickness is 0.13 inches and the overall weight is 3.9 ounces the raven 2 bird raven 2 uh, the overall length is 7.87 inches. The blade length is 3.5 inches. The thickness is 0.15 inches. And the overall weight is 4.8 ounces. All right, so there's some quick specs. So let's talk about these knives. Um, so first off, this is just the green variation. Uh, Tenacious comes in in a multitude of different handle scales they also have a partially serrated version um the things that i like about this knife one flat grind spider code does it right the spider hole opening it's workable uh i do like the ergos for the most part but in a regular overhand grip it works fine but when you reverse it uh the handle doesn't fit right unless you're doing a uh upside down grip or stabbing grip i don't know what this is called uh, then it fits all right but if you do it backwards in any sort of capacity it you know just feels weird the other thing is the thumb wrap is super 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 effective on the tenacious it's pretty aggressive um turn up there and the jimping is actually pretty solid it's actually the most solid out of the three knives so this one definitely wins as far as thumb ramp and jimping. The other thing is on the uh, cutout for the liner lock. 
Uh, on both sides, it is chamfered a little just to make it slightly more ergonomic or easy on the hand when you're trying to disengage the lock, which is nice. Uh, what I don't like compared to the other ones is I don't like that there is an, a choil here to help with sharpening, so I hate that the blade goes all the way up to there. It's not a huge deal, but I just don't like it. I like having a little bit of a choil there just to make it a little easier for sharpening. I don't like how small the lanyard hole is. I mean, it's not a huge deal, and I'm not a lanyard guy, but it does have the smallest lanyard hole out of the three. Uh, and other than that, I think when it's, you know, for the most part, it's pretty awesome otherwise. Uh, the other thing I don't like, I just wish it had a better blade steel. Um, it does have the 8CR13 MOV, which is an okay steel, uh, but there are far better ones out there that are still economic. And compared to the other two, this has the cheapest steel out of the three. Uh, oh, the other thing I like, it has bronze phosphorus washers, which gives it like a buttery smooth uh, blade deployment. All right, moving to the Pole Star. Pole Star. Uh, Actually, no. We'll go Raven. Then we'll go to Polestar. So, what I like about the Raven. Flat ground. Love it. Um, I love the uh, plain edge. Everything. I like the hole. It just looks different. And it's a bit bigger. long, More elongated. Uh, but, you know, it still works and functions similar to the spider hole. I do like the handle shape. It seems a lot more ergonomic. Especially if you have a bigger hand, it's a little bit longer, and it doesn't feel as boxy or chunky. Uh, there isn't as much chamfering as far as the finger cut out there. We do have it on the back side to kind of just round out the back of the handle. And what I really dig about this is that it has that forward finger choil, so you can really bite up on it and do some finer carving. Uh, so, yeah. Other than that, black G10, uh, texturing's fine. Oh, the other thing, it has a larger lanyard hole, larger than the Tenacious, which I like a lot. But the biggest thing is that finger choil. Uh, what I don't like about it, uh, not much. What I don't like is the fact that the jimping's a little too smooth on the back of the thumb ramp, so I wish it had a little bit more aggressive jimping. Uh, it probably has the worst jimping out of the three. And then I it has nylon washers. Uh, you know, nylon washers aren't a huge ding on it. Uh, I just wish it had the upgraded washers just because I feel they're a little bit more durable and they just have a smoother action. But for what the knife is and the weight of the blade and the size, I really don't notice. I wouldn't notice that they were nylon, but since I do know they are, I just wish they were the, the better washers. But like I said, if I didn't notice, I wouldn't, you know, it feels fine. It flies out, still smooth as butter. So, not a huge ding on it. Uh, and the best thing it was, this was the first one out of the three to have BD1 blade steel. And I love the steel, so really dig it. And it has a cool name, Raven 2 pretty sweet so all right on to the pole star so now they really did do a good job of marrying features from both and usually they are the best features so like i said uh in this one it has a choil there now plain edge blade flat ground blade a larger thumb hole um the jimping's better than the raven not as good as the tenacious but it is much better uh, so it makes the grip on the thumb on the thumb ramp better. It has a really large lanyard hole, which is sweet. And they've lightened and milled it out better than the other two. And was able to keep it under that 4 ounce mark, which is huge. It does have a large cutout, just like the Raven. Uh, maybe even better. So for those of you who fumble with trying to disengage the lock, it's there and easy. Uh, the other thing is the liners are thinner than the other two, which, once again, saving that weight, you still have a big, solid knife, but it's much lighter, so it's not going to fatigue you to carry it around. 
It does have the uh, bronze phosphorus washers like the uh, Tenacious, which is sweet. And uh, BD1 Steel like the Raven, so which is sweet. Love it. My only gripe about this is I wish they would have kept the finger choil because it's almost a two-handed two-hand grip. I choked down here to hold, but then I kind of have to move up to sink into that thumb ramp and bite up. So uh, I wish they would have just, I mean, just holding it here, they have room for to put a choil, a finger choil, but, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't want to do it. And it's not a huge thing. It's just something that feels funny to me, but either way, when you use it, you don't really notice it. So, so there are the features. I don't really, that's my small little gripes, and they're all minute gripes. Uh, these all cut fantastic. The flat grind is fantastic on them. Obviously, the edge retention on the Raven and the Polestar are going to work way better um, price-wise now. So here's another competitive point between the three. Out of the three, you can find the Tenacious uh, for the cheapest price, I think as low as like 35 bucks, maybe even lower. But uh, depending on the color, you'll pay less or more. But around 35 to $40. The Raven uh, is the next cheapest or economical, and that's anywhere from like 45 to $55. And then the Polestar, because it's brand new, it just came out, it's around 60 to $65, I believe. I paid like 60 60 and change for this, maybe 65 I can't remember. But it's around that ballpark. Um, so there you have it, price-wise. Yeah. So, as far as uh, that goes... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that the blade is much thicker on the Raven, much thinner on the uh, Tenacious, and kind of in between. I've used all three of these. I've carried all three of these. The carrying is the same. Uh, they basically have the same pocket clip, so deep carry isn't any better than the other. I think you can get the Tenacious a little bit deeper. Or actually, you can carry any of these deeper if you do uh, tip down, but even then you still have at least a half inch sticking out. So, I wish, if anything, that they made a pull star with the wire deep carry pocket clip, and that would probably really make this one stand out. But, other than that, all fantastic knives, but if I had to pick just one, just one out of these three awesome knives, I would have to go with the Raven. Uh, I picked this one just because... It's not the cheapest, but it's kind of a cheaper price. You still get the upgraded steel, which really counts overall as in a cutting tool. And I like the ergos, and I like the fact that you have a forward finger choil. Really awesome. The name is the coolest to me in my mind. The Raven, quote the Raven nevermore. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, it doesn't come with a lantern. I put that on there, so sorry. Um... And yeah, I, I've, this thing has been solid. It's centered perfect. It has cooler standoffs there, kind of like marked standoffs. And uh, the price is just fantastic at around 45 bucks. Just love it. Absolutely love it. And it's just a, a little bit more robust, stronger feeling knife. It has that thick BD1 blade steel. That being said, if I had to do a second choice, I'd definitely go with the Polestar. It was a close second. Um, much more lighter, easier to carry. Uh, you just notice that it's lighter, and it just feels good. And it looks cool. I do like the G10 look. The lanyard holds better, so se close second. Uh, and last, I'd do the Tenacious. Still an excellent knife. And for a lot of people, this has a lot of sentimental value because... This was one of the many people's first spider Um and it's solid for the price around 35 bucks you can find one excellent but overall the raven wins so check out any three of these i'll put link uh to the eye so click the eye for links to the reviews on each one of these um 
and give them a shot. You can't go wrong with either one. So thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys outside.